St. Lucia's retirement age has increased from 60 to 65 years. The National Insurance Corporation, NIC, says this is in a bid to ensure the sustainability of the agency and its ability to meet its payments to pensioners. But if we had to continue along the path that we were going, paying a pension at 60 years and with a minimum pension of 40% of the person's average insurable earnings and so on, this NIC would have fallen into difficulties. Not everyone is happy with the changes. Cynthia James is near retirement age, but she says she will have to wait longer to receive a pension. It's a bit it's concerning to me because most people die very young, you know, 50 years, 40, but they never reach 60. And to raise it to 65 now, it's like government wants to keep all the money for himself. Althea's George agrees. He too thinks that a retirement age of 65 is too old. How many people can wait? Can, can live up to 65? Not many, just a few. So just without paying money for nothing. A review of the NIC conducted in 1996 by the International Labour Organization noted that the retirement age in St. Lucia was among the lowest in the world and recommended an increase. And I see officials say the change in retirement age to 65 will ensure a more efficient national insurance system. The workers of St. Lucia simply want to know that they will benefit from years of monthly payments to the National Insurance Corporation. From Castries, St. Lucia, Alison Kenton.